Hi parents, this problem is a read, draw, write problem and so I'm going to show you how I would solve it using this strategy. I also want to make sure that you are aware of um, the scholars should be solving with a tape diagram and they need to make sure that their pictures are labeled. So first I'm going to read it since that's the first step. Olu has some comic books. His friend Victoria gave him 13 more comic books. Now Olu has 19 comic books. How many comic books did Olu have to begin with? So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a box without any numbers in it because I know that Olu has some comic books, but I don't know how many he has. I'm also going to label it O-L-U for Olu. Next it says his friend Victoria gave him 13 more comic books, so I know that means I'm adding since it says more. So I'm going to draw another box and I'm going to add 13 more comic books. I'm just going to draw circles because that's what we're using in school. One, two, oh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I stopped labeling my number, my circles because for a tape diagram, they are labeling the number outside of the box. So instead of writing the numbers inside, I can just write Victoria. She had thirteen. And then it says that now Olu has 19 comic books. So I'm going to keep adding, counting on from 13, but in Olu's box. So 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Now I'm going to count how many I added on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So Olu has 6 and Victoria has 13, so all together they have 19 comic books. Now the question is asking how many comic books did Olu have to begin with? I can clearly see that my answer is that Olu had six. The number six has zero tens and six ones, so Olu had six comic books to begin with. 